Yeah, it was very emotional, really for everyone, but especially for one man severely hurt while serving in Afghanistan. Nearly a decade ago, Carlos Colon's war wounds left him in a coma. President Bush visited him in the hospital and pinned a purple heart on the unconscious soldier. In an NBC5 exclusive, we were there as Colon got a chance to say thank you. Here we go, here we go. Here On a go, small go, North go. Dallas road, tucked away in a modest please, space, please. Go, boys. is a group of warriors at the Adaptive Training Foundation. They call themselves a tribe. 30 seconds, come on. Change B, switch, left leg. Carlos Colon is an Army veteran. Nice, make it powerful. His buddies call him the Spartan Warrior, an elite athlete in tip-top shape. Colon had to battle back from devastating injuries in Afghanistan. Man, I don't know, I had that feeling that we were going to get hit. You had a hunch? Yeah, so I got on the gun. Cologne's scars tell the tale of his 2008 deployment. He was hit by a rocket-propelled grenade. We got ambushed with RPGs, AKs, IEDs, and they shot an RPG from a wall to me, and I was in the gun, so I blew up right here in the side of the, in the other side of the glass. This is what was left of his army helmet. Cologne says he remembers nothing of the attack. During uncertain days, his family took these pictures while he was in a coma in the hospital. He says he also doesn't remember this. President George W. Bush pinning a purple heart on him. He calls it his finest moment as a U.S. soldier. When I woke up, uh, my family told me that he pinned me my purple heart. So, and then, then when I got the pictures, you know, I was like, so he pinned me, and, but I never met him, you know. So I always wanted to meet him, you know, just see him in person and thank him. Cologne got that chance. I'm the this is leader. Carlos. Hey, Carlos. Yeah, I, get to see you, I know it. Yeah. Really I remember him. He doesn't remember me. When President George W. Bush made a surprise visit to this gym. I was sleeping, you know? huh? You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure you were going to wake up. <laughs> anyway, yeah. congratulations. Mm -hmm. Glad you. you're doing well. When I saw him, I was like, you know, awesome. I, I loved it, man. And like I said, I, if I could go to get into war, under his command, I'll do it. Man. I'm really proud. No vet wants to be looked at with self pity. Right. They want to be looked at as somebody who got hurt doing a, doing a good job. It's been nearly 10 years since their first meeting, one where a president bestowed an honor which would last a lifetime. You have the pictures to. to yeah, I got them framed in my room, man. We'll get a new picture. Autograph. Huh? Yeah. You look a lot better now than you did. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> been working hard on it. Yeah, you really have. You're a good man. I'm real proud of you. Yeah, totally, sir. Yes, sir. I'm proud to serve under you. Yeah, you're a good man. Thank you. Cologne says this is his full circle moment and says without hesitation, no regrets. Like I'm proud of every scar, every, every injury. And if I could have done it again, I would have done it.